Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Drive Through Thursday here, Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Big John TV, we're all about food, family, and fun. That's how we roll. We got a new kid. We, there's cousin Corey again, North Carolina. Um, drive Through Thursdays, what's hot and trending in the world of fast food, drive throughs, quick bites. If it's making windows or Facebook pages, we're going to try it, we're going to find it, tell you whether it's worth buying or if you should keep on. Driving Drive down it. that street. That's and right. Since we're in a part of the world we've never been to before, yep. we got all kinds of new things. Oh, to yes. So last week we did Bojangles, which is a North Carolina original item, original restaurant. We've got another one for you today. We are at a place called Cookout. 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 I love that little spatula and the flames. Great, great logo. I love that logo. That would actually make a really cool tattoo. No, <laughs> Cookout was founded in Greensboro, North Carolina in 1989. Yep. They now are all up and down some of the eastern coast states. Yep. They've got, uh, they're in over 100 cities. There you go. So comment down below if you're in one of those cities and one of those states. I'm curious how high and how low and where they're at. Um, there's a lot of these around where we are, and it was on our list to do. So we're sharing it with you guys while we're checking another eatery off of our list yep so they are famous for their shakes they've got over 40 flavors yep. of shakes um your cousin said we really had to try a few other things so yep. we've got them and they do have a new milkshake that's a seasonal one so you know we're all about stuff like that so we got that too let's start with food and then we'll get to milkshakes i think so okay uh let's get the kids out of the yep. way first up for the children mm. maddie has a small burger on your burgers, you can get mayo, mustard, ketchup, pickles, onion, and lettuce. Grilled onions or Cajun seasoning are available on request. So that, that looks like looks a good, yummy. a good classic hamburger. This, uh, this oh, sorry guys. Oh. You know, I'm pull out. Yeah, you're gonna pull that and knock it down. Um, that looks like a really good homemade backyard style. Oh, it smells like a homemade backyard grilled burger. burger. Now. Corey and Jamie each have a corn dog. drive through oh favorite, freshly yeah. fried, probably really hot, so be careful, corn dogs. So nothing super special about those other than if you can get a fried corn dog somewhere, they are so good. That is really bright. That was blinding me horribly. Ooh. Okay, so Maddie's burger, tomato, lettuce, probably pickle. And onion. And on uh, onion normally, but she requested no onion. Lean over a bit, Maddie. Tell them what you think. A little bit hot this, there, Jimmy. Watch out. This is really good. Well, let me get you focused on here. Slide over a tiny bit more. Or just lean. There you there go. There you are. So a good burger. Mm -hmm. It's very basic. And they are like a char grilled burger. Yes. So similar back home to Burger King. Right. The like the flame broil kind of a, mm -hmm. of a flavor profile. Yeah. It's basic, but it's really good. Good. Solid. I do like the idea of being able to get the Cajun seasoning yep. on the burgers. I think that's a really great twist. Yep. Uh, boys, what do you think of those corn dogs? Have you been able to take a bite They're yet? They're great. They're good? Nice. All right. Now, can we explain how this worked? Because Maddie got that burger. Oh, yeah. So they have an awesome system of ordering. They say they have the best combos in town. Yeah. And they really do. So Maddie got a junior tray, which included a small burger. And we could have chosen from a bacon wrap white cheddar cheese bites, chicken nuggets, chicken wrap, corn dog, fries, hush puppies, onions, quesadilla, slaw or chili as one of two sides that right. she would get. Right. Or you can double down and pick something off the first menu. Yep. So the junior tray, you have the option of small burger, two chicken strips, <laughs> two corn dogs, BLT sandwich, one hot dog, one quesadilla. Yeah. But we opted to double down. We got the two corn dogs. So we fed three kids on one tray one for meal. only six dollars yeah and 50 cents i think that's fantastic yep. so um do you want to go next or yeah okay yeah no why don't you go okay. next because you've got the fries and the okay. puppies in yours so i got a barbecue meal or platter yeah now, john got his own tray here now in north carolina when you say barbecue it refers specifically to pork mm -hmm. it's pulled it's chopped it's minced it's sliced pork that's what they serve that's their go-to so i have a pork sandwich yes cajun fries so his two sides are cajun fries and hush puppies oh hot. Mm. now if you're saying what's a hush puppy hush puppies are typically a cornbread batter 
some with different seasonings, some without. There's totally different versions depending on where you're at eating. But it's basically a fried dough batter mm -hmm. of some of some mix of seasonings. It's crispy fried. They're fantastic. I absolutely love hush puppies. These are good. These are very slightly sweet, not overly spiced, mm -hmm. but a good like middle ground flavor. Right. How are the Cajun fries? They're delicious. They got a nice little seasoning on top. Mm. Not at all spicy, but it has a nice saltiness and a little extra flavor. Those are really good. They're also incredibly hot. They are really hot. So if I could get your help for one second. Yep, that's what I need. I'm going to set this back mm -hmm. down. Yep. So I'm going to open this pork barbecue sandwich. You guys can have some of these too now. Okay. Hamburger bun. Hot. Chopped barbecue pork and a coleslaw on top. That is a traditional Carolina style barbecue pork sandwich. Mm. That meat is cooked until it just falls apart, mushes down, super tender. The coleslaws are chopped really, really thin, really fine, like a, almost a mince. It's a minced coleslaw. Right. And then, as opposed to ours back home, would be shredded. Shredded. So you mix that all together and you got yourself a barbecue sandwich. French fries mm. are really hot. The French fries are really hot. So I'm gonna try just the pork here. Oh, look at this. Am I getting it on me? No, you're doing right. Oh, that's extra it's, crispy. It's smoky. Got a little bit of a vinegar bite in there. Because Carolina style is with vinegar. A vinegar based sauce. Do you guys need napkins back there? No? You doing all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, while well, you're chewing on that, I'm gonna get out what I ordered. Oh, oh it fits so perfectly in this bag. <laughs> that was darn near impossible. That's amazing pork, by the way. Great flavor, super tender. And not something you expect from a fast food restaurant. Yeah, fast from food a joint, they got especially. barbecue. I got a Carolina style hot dog. This is cookout style specifically. Will you tap that screen yep. for me? So this includes chili there you go. and coleslaw. I think ketchup and mustard too. I see mustard. I do see mustard. So ketchup, mustard, yeah. and coleslaw. Let me just verify that. It is home style, homemade chili, slaw, mustard, and onion. I knew I was missing something there. In there you go. Oh wait, you see that on the top now. All right, I feel like I'm gonna make a huge mess with this. Yep, I wouldn't pick it up all the way out of the case if I were you. No, I'm gonna do it like this. Yep. Kind of eat over it and pick yep. whichever side's the least messy, because <laughs> this is messy. It's a little bit watery from the slaw. This kid's eating like they haven't eaten in days. It's good stuff, I huh? I haven't. Mm. I have been locked in a basement. <laughs> You gonna try some of this one also? Uh, uh yeah. That's my there spot. is a good vinegar bite in there from the mustard with the chili and the coleslaw. It's just a great all-around bite. Oh, and now you've made a mess. That is a good, a good hot dog flavor. Mm. It really blends well together. Mm -hmm. Nothing is too strong or offensive in there. I'm a fan of uh, I, Carolina style. And you taste different layers. You get that right. hot dog, a little bit of a snap. It is a good snappy hot dog. Mm -hmm. Jamie wouldn't have liked these. Glad I didn't no. get that. Yeah, um, yeah, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's really good stuff. Yeppers. So, that's all the food. Now let's talk about milkshakes. We ended up with three different milkshakes. Two milkshakes and a float. Two milkshakes and a float. Uh -huh. So let's go with the... The least strange one. There you go. This is a peach cobbler milkshake. Yes. It's very thick, but very good. It's not overly sweet, but you get chunks Whoa. of peaches in there. I can actually see bits of cobbler on the top. Crunchy bit right there. Mm -hmm. That's good. That is really good. Super fresh. <clears throat> good and peachy. It's got a good soft serve base to it too. Yep. I can taste a good vanilla flavor yep. in there. I agree. Um, now this is a seasonal one that is only around these restaurants for a couple months a year. This is a watermelon milkshake. Now that is something I have never heard of. 
Um, why don't you not like this one? I like real watermelon. It's fake watermelon that I don't care oh. for. John's a fan, huh? That's so good. Are you if ready? That, if I didn't have any... You would like that with no coleslaw, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. That milkshake is beautiful. Whoa, that yeah. is so fresh watermelon-y. Can you put that back up there for me? Did everyone, anybody else want to try the peach one? Yeah. As long as you don't have food in your mouth, you can have another, but you can take a drink. That is 100% pure watermelon flavor. Yep. I see chunks of watermelon in the cup. Yeah, and I'm trying, like I was worried that the combination of the vanilla and the watermelon right. would be weird to me. Nope, I love it. That's yep. fantastic. Um, just side note real quick, Jamie. Would you like to try a bite even though it does have coleslaw on it? Yeah. In the When you chew it up, you don't even realize it's in there. I don't have a bite. You can Do you want to try a bite? Right? Here, lean forward and use the tray as a bait. I'll even hold it for you. I'll help you. You can grab it if you need to. Whatever you want to do. Oop, I just don't want you to do that and make a mess. That is I'll drop it out. The watermelon, I, that's definitely a winner. I yeah. would get that again in um, a heartbeat. Ew. All right, you ready? Yeah. Do it. Just don't drop it. Mm. There you go. You a fan yeah. of that? Yeah. Good man. Um, that's delicious. Yeah, watermelon is good. Watermelon milkshake's fantastic. Peach cobbler milkshake's fantastic. Now, we have... What did I say wrong? Cheer wine float. We have a cheer wine float. Now... Cheerwine is another North Carolina original. It's a soda. It's cherry flavor. It kind of reminds me of a cherry Dr. Pepper. And don't worry, guys. It's not actually wine. As, yeah, it's not real wine. There's nothing. Or is it? Mm -hmm. It's not. <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to have it. The extra vanilla flavor so. in there is a nice compliment. Oh, that's good. Anybody want to try this? Oh, you so scoot over. You were not a fan of the watermelon milkshake, right? No. What about you? Want to try the cheer wine? No. Float. No. He hasn't been a fan of the <clears throat> cheer wine. There was another straw. This is really good. You like that and one? See, it's interesting because Maddie didn't care for the cheer wine drink itself. Drink itself, but she likes it as a float. Yeah. So all of this food. That we just showed. Gonna get some more <laughs> uh, no, because the line is really long. Um, all of this food was just about eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars, and there were some good options in there. That was that was fantastic. Um, what was your favorite? You guys love the corn dogs, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Maddie? And apparently they love the fries and the hush puppies. Yeah, those are gone. Yeah, they they darn near licked that tray clean. Look. <laughs> So that's cookout, fresh hamburgers cooked outdoor style, yep. and premium milkshakes. There's 40 different options. And guys, do you guys eat the crust? Heck bottom? yes, you have to eat the crunchy yeah. bit at the bottom of a corn dog. Corn dog, corn dog, or hot dog dipped in a cornbread batter typically too, or a little bit of a kind of a sweet mm -hmm. batter sometimes, deep fried. Fantastic. Got a barbecue today, pulled pork sandwich, amazing. We got hot dog, Carolina style. Yep coleslaw great flavors a lot going on but it's really good lots of really good flavors i highly recommend giving this one a try i'm yep. glad we did yep as i already said it but make sure if you've already been to one of these places you know of them comment down below your favorite item um and where you're at because i'm curious as to how far and where these are exactly located but killer milkshakes killer food this is cookout a greensboro north carolina original yep there's a chunk of watermelon this so big i can't even get it oh, through the straw sticking. Nice. All right, uh, Jamie. Yeah. Remind our friends. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our videos what and are you gonna say, and when we go lives. Corey can do. Where can they find Big John TV, Corey? On. Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. TikTok. And, TikTok. And, and TikTok. Thank you, sir. You can come hang out with us on all those platforms. We use them. We're out there. Just come hang out with us. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yep. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.